It appears President Bola Ahmed Tinobu is beginning to stamp his authority on his administration, administration days after issuing a warning to busybodies to stay away from the Federal Executive Council meetings. President Tinobu has declared that he will not hesitate to sack ministers and cabinet members who failed to perform. At the end of a three-day cabinet retreat in Abuja, the president announced his intention to sign a performance bond with the ministers. Meanwhile, the presidency debunked reports that President Tinobu's administration allocated five billion naira for the purchase of a presidential yacht. The senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Temitope Ajayi, said the yacht was requested by the Navy, Nigerian Navy, and not the president. But first, let's share the story of the cabinet retreats with you. President Tinubu has empowered his special advisor on policy to supervise a result and delivery unit that will keep ministers on their toes and monitor their key performance index. President Tinubu also insists his administration will not make excuses for the failures of past administrations and emphasizes that the priority of the government will be improving education, health care and eradicating poverty. At the end of this retreat, they are going to sign a bond of understanding between you, the ministers, the permanent secretary, and myself. If you are performing, nothing to fear. If you miss the objective, we review. If no performance, you leave us. The secretary to the government of the Federation, who supervises the federal cabinet on behalf of President Tinubu, says members of the president's cabinet must be accountable and work for the actualization of the Renewed Hope agenda. The bonds contain the ministerial deliverables alongside their key performance indicators, KPIs. Each of the KPIs contain the baseline data and targets for the next four years. There were goodwill messages from the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Richard Montgomery, and the World Bank Country Director, Shubham Chowdhury. The British envoy says he admires President Tinubu's leadership, especially his international engagements, and promises his country's support for Nigeria. Nigeria faces big security, economic, and social challenges in a global context of big challenges a difficult global economy, shifting geopolitical and foreign policy pressures. So we're here to support your programs. We take your guidance from you. But even though we have the word bank in our names, I hope you will think of us as more than a bank. I mean, our real hope is that you will trust us and that we will be able to earn your trust, that we have something more to offer in the nature of solutions. President Tinubu says the purpose of the retreat is to get the ministers to sign a bond of understanding that will be a commitment to service delivery without any form of mediocrity. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. You know, if you remember, during the eight years of Muhammadu Buhari, those there are some ministers that were just there for years, they marked the register and everything. Nothing, they couldn't do anything wrong. Nobody was looking for KPI. And they were just, since they were nominated from the beginning, they just sat put there. So Bola Tinobu is now saying this is, this is not business as usual, that you are going to have KPI and somebody to measure what you are doing. So after some time, it's not, you know, if you are not performing, you can be laid off. Yes. Um, don't also forget that three days ago, yeah, we said that the president must ensure that the ministers perform. Yeah. And um, I remember that we mentioned that this is that, that is our job. Because I know that that is our job. To, our job is that of policy coordination. She is special assistant policy coordination, not special assistant on policy. Policy our, coordination. Coordination. So our duty is to ensure that everybody jumps in and help to achieve the mandate of the president, the, the goal of the president. You all work together. So there will be a parameter. That renewed hope. That renewed hope. Mm. You will all come.
come in and her job is to ensure that every minister plays his part or her part in ensuring that the goal, the president's goal, the president's mandate is achieved. So, and she has been interfacing with the ministers, each of the ministers. She has to know what problems they are facing. She has to ask questions. And she is somebody who can do that. She, she's tough as nails. The president knew what he was doing when uh, he chose Adiza to do that kind of job. And she's not an impressionable person <laughs> that you can easily uh, sway. No, she's, she knows her onions. She, she will do her best to ensure that um, these ministers are put on their toes. But in my view, to make her job easy, there are hard to be other people working with her. Like a committee? Yes, working with her to ensure, because this is a tough job. It's the largest uh, cabinet in Nigerian history, mm. so you have so much work to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we have ministers, we have essays, you know, cabinet rank, uh, yes, special assistants. All of those mm. people have their jobs cut out for them. And it's, it's tough. Yeah, one person Imagine that one person. 48. Yes, so she has to work with other people. Okay. And then, of course, part of the mandate of the Secretary of the Government of Federation is to also to see that these things get done. You know, to uh, also facilitate implementation. Uh, implementation. So yeah. we want to see. We are not going during Buhari's time. We were we kept saying that it appeared they didn't have KPI. We are not going to leave President Inubu alone. Yeah. I'm sure he too has seen the sign because when we said it's your duty, you must make sure that these guys work. So it's not. We we are not going to leave the president alone because he must perform. If he fails, Nigeria fails. Straight. So it's our duty to remind the president that look, our people want to see you work results. and succeed. We results. want results. Okay, Jide, just hold your breath. We, when we come back, we'll talk more. It's still journalist and We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> 